Here's how to make a pom-pom blanket. You will need a loom frame, three lots of 100 gram wool for your top layer, which will form the pom-poms, and the same again for your base layer. Taking all three strands of wool in your base layer colour, tie a double knot to the second dowel up from the corner of your loom. Make sure it's nice and tight as this holds your blanket into place. Always working with all three strands, loop the wool around the bottom two dowels creating an L shape. Take your wool up the length of the frame, wrap around two dowels and then back down the frame around the bottom two dowels and keep repeating this process until your loom is full and you're at the opposite corner of where you started from. Your loom now should look like this. Once you've reached the opposite corner, create the same L shape to take the wall across the width of your frame. Again, looping around two dowels, bring the wall back and forth across the width of the frame. You will now see a square pattern start to emerge, which will form the base that your pom pom sit on. Once you reach the opposite corner, create the L shape again to bring the wall back up the length of the frame. This should fill in any gaps around the edge of the loom so there is now wall between each dowel. Once the first layer of your base colour is complete, you should be back to where you started and you need to repeat the process three more times. This will give you a base layer of 12 strands of wool. Once your layers are complete, tie the wall to the frame using a double knot. And this is what your loom should look like when you've repeated this process three times and you've got your base layer complete. Now it's the exact same process to create your top layer, so you can always go back and watch the first half of the video. All you are doing is creating the exact same pattern but in your top layer colour. You can repeat the process anywhere from three to six times depending on how thick you want your pom-poms to be and how much room you have on your dowels. As the loom gets fuller, you may wish to pat down the wall to create more space on your dowels. We went round the board five times to give us a top layer of 15 strands of wool. Wherever the wool meets it across, you're going to tie all the layers together using a diagonal knot in your top layer colour. away any excess wool and leave a small tuff which will be later hidden in the centre of your pom-pom. Approaching from the opposite side of the cross, you're going to tie another knot in the exact same spot. This will hold all the layers together in an X-shaped knot. It's these pink X's that you can see on the back of the blanket that you're now creating. This is what your loom will look like when all your crosses have been tied together. Now it's time to create the pom-poms. During this process only cut the top layer, do not touch the bottom layer of your blanket. Cut only your top layer in between two knots to create a pom-pom. Only ever cut in between two knots. Do not cut the outer frame or the bottom layer. The next clip shows what it should look like when done. Leaving the corners of the blanket, cut only the top layer away from the outer frame in between the dowel and your first pom-pom. -pom. 
Now you can cut the top layer away from the corners. Your blanket should now only be held onto the frame by the bottom layer. Again, leaving the corners, cut the base layer in the middle of each dowel. This will create the fringe edge. Now cut the corners halfway between the first and second dowel on each side to release the blanket. Trim any loose threads or longer strands of wool to make your pom-poms and fringe uniform. And there you have it, your pom-pom blanket is complete.